Previously on, Tim plays a game. Yeah, a variable mountain of bombs. You should please Kevor, Kevor if anything can. The benevolent lord who works with his mighty is might between the heavens and earth. But we offer our gratitude and beseech you, reveal yourself to our eyes. Wow. Dramatic entrance, just destroying a tree. <laughs> like, I, like, like, ended and then he just went and freaking attacked me. Okay. All lives touch other lives to create something anew and alive. I see. I suppose it means people helping each other will like how you helped retrieve the fragment. I've read this passage many, many times, but this is the first time I truly understood what it means. Maybe this is Almighty Sinner's guidance. Ursula Luna prefers to stay on Sludge Mound. Please join me there when you're ready. What's up everyone, it's Tim from Tim Plays Game here with Pokemon Legends Arceus playing on Nintendo Switch. Oh, here we go. Alright, round two. What do you got? Really? Huh. Let's finish him off. Nice. Bastard. And yes, he can evolve into Machoke. Awesome. If anyone wants to help me evolve this Machoke into a Machamp, please let me know in the live chat. <laughs> we actually had that happen last time. Some, uh, we, got, we got Graveler. Someone during the live stream offered to evolve, it, uh, help me evolve it. I said, great. We did that, so we got a golem. It went from Geodude to Golem in one night. In the meantime, though, we'll uh, choke things around here. Yeah, mo <laughs> I don't know. I can't make it. I don't want to make a joke that has the word choke in it, but we'll choke up on this. There we go. That works. Yeah, he's just staring at me now. Okay. Like, <laughs> why won't he catch me? <laughs> I'm saying, why won't he turn around? Oh, look. Not the only one who can evolve. So uh, everybody's evolving tonight. Yeah, they all grow up so fast. Yes, my beautiful boy. Over here, Tim. Ursa Luna is enraged, yes, but he must still re recall his long relationship with the Pearl Clan. We he never fails to show up the moment I play my Celestica flute. So that's what I'm going to do. Just those three notes. That's all you gotta do. Maybe maybe he didn't hear me. Oh no wait, the ground's rumbling. There he is. <laughs> right on time. Now show your metal to Ursa Luna, but remember that Ursa Luna is a Pokemon very dear to my the clan, the Pearl Clan. I will not permit you to catch him. What? Okay. I'm like Andy Cow. Exactly? You gonna stop me? Someone who's half my height? <laughs> half my height and probably weight. Agile style Waffle Jet. Soften them up. Oh, baby doll eyes, darn you. <laughs> oh, come on now. How are you going to freaking do baby doll eyes? Another Agile Aqua Jet. Then we're going for the strong style attack in a minute and a sec. There we go. Strong style water pulse. Bring him down. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> I should have been smarter about that one. Okay. Alright, send in the big guns. Or the big rock.
There we go. Yeah, I'd say Ursa Luna is a grounded normal type, so. Yeah, after, I, yeah they made an evolution for Ursa Ring. Ursa Luna, my poor, my poor darling, you must be exhausted from running around like that. Come, let me make you all better. I have here a special medicine of the Pearl Clan. It'll clear out any poison in a Pokemon's body. If poison's what's causing Ursa Luna rage, this is sure to calm it down. We call it Toxagon. Everyone else calls it Antidote. That name is stupid. Also, I'm trying to brand- I'm trying to get branding rights. It's so potent that we can only use it tu on tough, resilient Pokemon like Ursa Luna. There, there, dear Ursa Luna. You've calmed down now, haven't you? He's just kind of like- <laughs> He's like, whatever. Just staring at the ground. This is all very strange, though. He wasn't glowing. Why wasn't he glowing? Very astute of you, Galaxy Team Recruit. You're exactly right. When you quelled Cleavor's frenzy, I could see the strange light rising into the sky all the way from here. But no such strange light erupted from Ursa Luna after you defeated him, nor was he glowing. And what is this climbing to, uh, clinging to Ursa Luna's coat? It seems like some kind of powder. That girl from the Diamond Clan, Arezu, or Arez, 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 whatever. <laughs> Now what now why did she of all people find the need to come and tell me about Ursa Luna, I wonder? Oh, but I almost forgot something important. Play your Celestica flute for me, won't you? So Luna opened his heart and learned well the sound of your playing. Received an earth plate. Awesome. All oh, this is good news. Oh, so Luna is very good at finding things that are buried in the ground. We say that he's digging for treasure, even if these treasures might not always glitter or gleam. Now go and let your commander know of what you've tr of what transpired here, child of the galaxy team. Burr. Burr. Okay, cool. We can call Ursula to dig for treasure. This is actually really fun. And you can get some rare items by uh, by digging with him. It basically starts sniffing in one direction. There it is. Ooh, what do we got? Obtained Old Verse 9. Huh. Part of a series of old poems that have been unearthed around Hisui region. Yeah, this is like the side quest, so we'll hold on to that for later. There's also one more thing I want to do before we... Before we go back. Hello there, so you're the survey corpse child who quelled the Lord of the Woods, are you? Think you could help with setting up our new base camp? Yeah, you can set up a base camp uh, around here. Yeah, so we'll just go over there. <laughs> it's just go over there. <laughs> just go that way, someone will be with you in a moment. Oh, whoa well, there, I'd keep your distance if I were you. Uh, just look at those bothers. They're taking up the spot where I was going to set up the base camp. Uh, one stunky would be a headache, but this little group is a full-blown migraine. Maybe I can get someone else from the team to handle this, someone good at battling. <laughs> I'm not bad. <laughs> Are you sure you're up to this, though? They stink something fierce. Yeah, leave it to me. Oh, well, if you insist, but you've got the, the be got to beat three of them, so be ready to run and stay downwind. <laughs> That's good advice. Alright. That's alright, I'm, I'm sending out Golem first. Any type of ground type, if I had a steel type, I'd probably do use that over... Over, oh uh, yeah, over, yeah, but now nah, we're, we're good. Let's tackle. Yeah, he can pretty much tank, he can pretty much tank any attack they have. He's probably gonna get poisoned sooner than later, so... Go at him with bulldoze. Nice. There's one down. Oh. Yeah, you're getting it next. <laughs> All right, who else wants it? Come on, learn from your friend here. Oh no, no, it didn't work. <laughs> yeah, the first two guys didn't have a chance, <laughs> but now it's my time to shine. Nope. Gone. Get out of here. 
Get out of here, you stink weasels. You are kidding. You've got talent. <laughs> Hasui's got talent. <laughs> and your Pokemon were so brave, too. I can't believe you handled the you handled three stunky all by yourself without getting smelly. Thanks to you, we can we can get the base camp set up now. Hold on a minute. Only takes like ten seconds in right now in real time, but in the game it probably took like three hours to get all that set up. There we go. What do you think? Make things a little safer here out here, no? And there's not a whiff of stunky here either. Stop by any time. Okay, so cool. We gotta go we got a base camp right here. It's good, that's what we wanted. Oh, and where were you? <laughs> this ma oh, this makes a second base camp for us to use in the Crimson Mirelands. Perhaps some Stunky will pop up for fun in games sometimes, eh? Wouldn't that be a treat? <laughs> no, it would not. Uh oh, hey. It's an unknown. Hey there, buddy. Was that, was that a Pokemon? Uh, come to think of it, Volo did mention that there were carvings that resembled writing on the walls of Solosian ruins. But supposing that the Pokemon was just uh, we just saw as a species with multiple forms, perhaps that the, the carving I keep saying cravings carvings are actually likeness of very of this very Pokemon. I'm going to add a section specifically for that species to your Pokedex, Tim. Even though we have only seen one form of it, I think we can devote an entire yeah. <laughs> What's that? What's this now? A letter, letter-like marking seemed to have appeared in the sec in the section I just added. And was that your arc phone I just heard? Is if your mysterious device is reacting to this new species, I wonder what this could mean. You're just assuming an awful lot here, bud. <laughs> Into the next rank, four stars, four stars, four stars. Dang it! <laughs> there we go. Take the bait, buddy. Oh, dang it. He's not stupid. <laughs> Alright, we're doing this. Dang, he's strong. Okay. I hope for the hope of the best with this ice punch. Oh good. Okay, he's frostbitten. I gotta go for the catch. Hope for the best. Got it! The hippo is mine. <laughs> yep. Alright, back to... Yep. Turn to the village. Hey! Hi! I see you. You're the only person standing here. There you are! You better hurry to the commander's office. You, you came all the way here to tell me that, okay. <laughs>
Uh, not that I, not that I blame her. My cooking is simply irresistible, after all. If Arezu of the Diamond Clan was somehow involved in this in this situation with the uh, the raging Ursaluna of the Pearl Clan, it could lead to the two clans going to each other's throats once again. Tell me, com tell me, Commander. If we do end up uh, in a struggle with the Pearl Clan, what will your people do? Nothing. We could be forced to re for, to remain neutral, meaning do nothing. <laughs> If we were to show support for one side, it would put the, put us at odds with the other. We came here to create a home for ourselves, not to take part in tearing the land apart. Right, of course. After all, after all, after all your work you put on in on to get us to treat one another as equals and keep us from fighting, I suppose it's no surprise you'd refuse to intervene if trouble were to break out again. Tim, perhaps you have some idea of how we might address this situation. Call, I, I got a bear that can find treasure. <laughs> Ursaluna, so the, so we so he and Warden Calaba Calaba found you worthy. That's perfect. Then Ursaluna should be able to sniff out a resu where whether she's gone. If you are strong enough that Ursaluna deemed you worthy, then you should be ready to quell the Lilligan's frenzy as well. I'll head to Lilligan's seat then. Brave Arena, as it's called. If you'll excuse me. All right, so that's done. Listen well, Tim. You must quell any Pokemon that could cause harm to the people of Vesui. Always remember, we came here to make a new home where we could live without war or strife. Good. Get out of here. <laughs> the girl who sent out, sent out earlier must have been eating some of the Benny's potato mochi. I can still smell them on her. Smell them on her. That reminds me. I've seen Mistress Cal Calaba riding around on that Ursuluna she serves, digging for treasure in the ground. Wonder if Ursuluna uses his sense of smell to sus sus out where the treasure might be. <laughs> Great. I, I, I can see S-U-S or S-U-S-S -S uh, making it into the, into, uh, to freaking, uh, into freaking dictionaries everywhere. Oh, found him. Oh, Tim, how'd you, how did it all go with Ursaluna? I helped him. <laughs> Thanks a bunch, fella, but how'd you find me all the way out here? Ursaluna found you. Ah, oh, he tracked me all the way out here by the scent of those. That was potato, potato mochi I ate. That Ursaluna sure is something. I know he's descended from one of the Pokemon that were blessed by Almighty Sinnoh, but still, wow. Okay, so why'd you poison him? <laughs> yeah, about that. My luck's ran out, though. As you can mostly most likely tell, I got chased by a Pokemon and sprained my ankle pretty bad as I was running away. It's almost like the world wants to punish me. Ah, oh, there you are, Rezu, right? Eek! <laughs> yeah, you screwed now. <laughs> You're about to get destroyed by a barrel. Mistress, C death by a barrel. <laughs> Mistress Kalaba, I, I didn't. Uh, I owe you an apology. I treated you with disrespect, thinking you were just some well from the Diamond Clan. I'm sorry for that. I should have treated you better. Uh, wait, but, but what? It's not your fault that Lilligant became frenzied, nor that my Usaluna was so enraged. You were trying to help them both, weren't you? Can you shiny hunt Dialga and Palkia and Arceus? I th don't think so. I think Palkia, Dialga, and Arceus are all Arceus are all shiny locked. I didn't think I didn't even have the courtesy to listen to you. You'd think someone who's lived as long as I have would be more patient. It's, a, it's okay. I didn't do a good job explaining myself either. Ursula only started acting weird after he got too close to Lilligan and smelled her perfume. She was already frenzied by the point, so I'm sure that was, that was that's what caused it. Ah, that explains the strange powder I found on Ursaluna. It must have been powder from Lilligan. But what happened to your leg, dear? I was gathering ingredients to make balms, but I, I fell and sprained my ankle. See, the reason I went to Jubilife was to get help from Ur for Ursaluna and also learned about crafting. But while I was there, I bumped into Professor Laventon, and he told me about the bombs you used to quell Cleaver. So I thought I'd make some for Lilligan, using her favorite foods. You galaxy people know, know all sorts of things. I'd like to learn even more from you, really. Well then, well then we'd better get take care of Our Lady and get all this mess resolved first. Ah, oh, look who showed up. Adaban! What were you What were you thinking, doing all this yourself? Did you don't Did you think I couldn't help you? Though no one else, no one would blame me for blame you for thinking so. Not much of a leader, am I? I've never even seen Almighty Sinnoh with my own eyes, and I failed to imagine that Lilligant might have become frenzied too. Listen up, Tim. 
I'll take the bombs that Arezu made and meet you at Brave Arena. Don't you worry, Rezu. Tim will, will call him Lil again, and that will be that. Things will should settle down. Head to Brave Arena, Tim. That's where Lil again's seat lies. Seat, le seat lies. Rezu will be taken care of, my dear Babero, and I will make sure she reaches her lady. Not with jet attack, he's got high enough defense to survive, but let's catch this. We'll catch this one. Actually, I'm gonna, I have too many heavy balls. I need to get rid of them. Yeah, I still have the third. I think I still have the thirty that they uh, they gave me for uh, for pre-ordering. So I haven't, yeah, I haven't even touched those yet. Catch that goal bad if I can. Mm. Yeah, wow. Okay, I caught. Right, let's go two for two here. Oh, he's alive. He's alive. Yeah, he's mad. Oh, wow. That was good. Okay. Yeah, you're definitely catchable. Alright. Nice. Get in the ball. Thank you. Dang you. Yeah, Parasect are freaking aggressive in this game. Oh, it meant Palkia, the legendary Pokemon. Okay, yeah. Well, that's weird. Should be able to unlock Ultra Balls way before that. Got kicked out of Galaxy Team, and I was going to unlock them as part of the story. Okay, it's part of the story. All right, then don't spoil too much for me. That's the first one I caught? Huh. Nice. I don't know. When I played the game the first time, they, they were really annoying. I just, I just could not catch one for the life of me. And there's a rose right over there, but I'm not, I'm not even bothering with that. Really? And now you're gonna get burned. Try an agile style ember, see what happens. I was supposed to unlock them earlier, but wanted to get the. Uh, okay. Nice. Perfect. Just gonna scoop you up. You have to catch Palkia with a great ball, okay. So you've come. I take it means you're ready. Of course. All or nothing. Lady Lilligan's Lady, Lil, uh, Lady Lilligan's is sad to see, even in her frenzy. Behold her and her being be grateful. I hope we did I hope we don't we didn't keep you waiting. Oh, who's that? Oh, it's Granny. <laughs> and Arezu, who's able to walk now for some reason after spraining her ankle ten minutes ago. All it took was one of my politics whatever medicine to get Arezu's leg all patched up. Caliber, ma'am, I'm deeply sorry that we've had to we've had to lean on your help so much, especially as we're from different clans. 
Arezu tried to solve the whole situation herself. I dare say she bit off more than she could chew and caused some trouble, but her heart was in the right place. Listen, Lady R the Ridge, Lilligant, is like a dancer, always in motion, always darting about. You'll want to watch her real close and learn how to dodge her moves. That's right. If you keep on dodging, she might get tired out, and then that'll be your opening. That's when you get to bring out your own Pokemon and prove your might. Don't let me down. Fine. <laughs> yeah, I should be good. I'm going to go on with Ponyta for the most part. This one, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, as long as you got one good type, either a fire, fire type, flying type, or a bug type, you should be all right. Hello? Oh, boy. Oh. Yeah, this is a different uh, form of Lilligant, by the way. The Suing Lilligant. Well, all the lords and ladies and the, yeah, all the freaking god godlike Pokemon in this game, the boss battles, they're all Hisuian forms, so they're going to look different. And this one, you got to be... Yeah, this one, they tell you about dodging. Uh, when you press Y to dodge, you'll become invulnerable to Pokemon attacks for a brief moment. Dodge with just the right time to pass through incoming attacks without taking any damage. Dang it. Yeah, really. Dang. Gotta jump over. Maybe just jump over that. <laughs> oh. Dang it. Couldn't jump over that one. <laughs> Get him, Ponyta. Get her, Ponyta. Poison powder. Darn you. Alright, you're getting it now. Agile style flame wheel. Nice. Oh, and burned. Really, really bring it down strong style. <laughs> nice. Good job, Ponyta. Just freaking bomb rusher. Did it. Fire in the hole. You go! been cured in the most violent way possible everybody levels oh wow everybody can evolve too all right <laughs> that's how you want to end the video and he gave me a block of seaweed thank you <laughs> stone tablet imbued with the essence of plants yeah it's weird how only arceus can use it though hey right. hey thank you you just you didn't just save little game you saved a resu as well i appreciate it First Ursaluna, now Lilligant, you're amazing, you know that? Yeah. Maybe you should try solving your own dang problems for a change. <laughs> being all being all friend being all frenzied didn't suit Lilligant one bit. I'm so happy she's back to her graceful self. Yeah, she's adorable. 
Arezu, you still owe someone an apology. Huh? Oh, don't worry about it. A young one like her is bound to get caught up in whatever. Remember what's written on Silesian, in the Silesian Ruins. All lives touch other lives to create something anew and alive. There's a wisdom in those words. I imagine they're the teaching of Almighty Sinnoh himself. Itself. Herself. Whatever. Of course, I'd completely forgotten about them until a certain somebody helped me remember. We owe you one, ma'am. Don't try to solve everything by yourself, Arezu. You're a warden, of all people. Of all people, we should know how to stand in solidarity with others. It's our job to stand side by side with Pokemon, after all. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. Well, I can hardly start yell. I can hardly start yelling at you now after Calabba wrapped up all wrapped all that up so nicely. <laughs> Just one more thing, Arezu. I know you were trying to do what you thought was right, and I approve of all that. But from now on, do it without keeping things from from me, agreed? Other than that, no need to change a thing. Except maybe to put, some, put in some training. If anything else happens to Lilligant, I need you to be ready to protect her like the warden you are. Right? <laughs> I understand. Let's work together from now on to keep the Mirelands safe, Arezu. I'll be sure to, to inform the Irida that both Diamond and Clan and Galaxy Team helped us save our Saluna. You did well, Tim. All, all, of, all our different groups finally joined hands to work together today. I admit it was a fun day for me, but now it's about time I be on my way. Listen, you know me. I am Adamant, leader of the Diamond Clan, and I worship Almighty Sinnoh, ruler of time. Time, time, time. Time is all about change, and we can't live in fear of, of that. We can only try to help the time help to help the time we live and change for better. Something tells me you folks are out, out will help me do that. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for everything, Tim. I think I'll stay and talk to Lilligant for a while. What happened, Lilligant? How to how to kind-hearted Pokemon like you end up all frenzied, huh? Though it's not like I'm perfect. I hid I hid things and lied and couldn't keep keep you safe. I'm really sorry about everything. Liddy. Yeah. <laughs> well, again, super freaking adorable to stay mad, to really be serious about. <laughs> Alright, let's evolve some things. And we're not gonna we're not done until we evolve these guys, so Staravia is gonna become Star Raptor. Spread your wings and fly, my child! For you are a big boy now. Straptor got a new move, cool. Oh wait, you're a girl. <laughs> and then finally, yes. We get to see Hisui form Samurott. I bet this freaked out a lot of people who didn't know about the Hisui forms of their starters. <laughs> Dude, it looks awesome! I love it! <laughs> this has been a good day. <laughs> so that is gonna wrap things up for tonight, everyone. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to Tim Plays Game. Stay tuned for more live streams. We're doing this again tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern. Till then, this is Tim from Tim Plays Game signing off. And have a good night, guys.